Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of getting three estimates whenever you're getting renovations or any type of work done to your house, uh, anything for that matter. I'm going to give you two scenarios, one with our uh, windows that we got in our new house and one with the driveway that we had to get done at our old house. Uh, so let's get to it. Hello everyone, welcome to Step 1 Finance. I hope everyone's learning from this channel and you guys continue to come back and watch these videos. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, if you could do that, hit that notification bell so you know when I post videos. I'm going to try to keep posting every Monday, Thursday. Uh, you know, and leave comments below, guys. Uh, I hope everybody's on some type of that journey and you're seeing the importance of this channel. Uh, guys, I'm putting a lot of work into this channel and I hope you guys are taking some stuff away from it. So I really appreciate any type of feedback. Uh, to let me know if you guys are learning from this channel uh, so I know to continue to go on with it or not. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really uh, worried about subscribers and stuff like that right now. I'm worried about people learning from this channel. Uh, this is, you know, my whole goal behind this is I want people to learn. So I hope you guys are learning from this channel. Uh, like I said, any type of feedback would be great. You know, uh, am I talking clear enough? Am I explaining, you know, the stuff that I'm explaining in the videos, is it coming out clear enough uh, for you guys to follow? Uh, you know, like I said, everything that I've learned over the years, the anything, anything I could do to help you guys progress in your debt journey, I will absolutely do it. Uh, this was on the top of my mind about the three estimates because in our old uh, house, we had a driveway done, which I'm going to show a picture right now. That was at my old house. That is a uh, classic asphalt that did that job. Uh, they did a fantastic job. Uh, so I'm going to give you uh, talk about that real quick. And then uh, we'll get into the windows here. So on my driveway, I had three estimates done. Uh, the first one, I did a little research online and they said anywhere between seven to eight thousand i was you know going by square footage in there or cubic feet whatever the heck it is uh so i was trying to get an estimate on what it would cost to, to move my existing concrete driveway and put a new asphalt driveway in uh the first estimate was 12 grand uh i called them and asked them if they gave me the estimate for asphalt or concrete and they got an attitude with me i guess they didn't want to hear that to me you know, that's just somebody that values their, values their work way too much uh, because the other guys started off where I was at, around the seven to $8,000 range. Uh, to come in at $12,000, I just, uh, to me, they're coming in with a large crew because they're a big company, so they got to pay every individual person. Uh, so they came in real high. I'm guessing that's what it is, you know, because uh, I read good reviews on them, you know, so I, I looked at reviews on them. So, I mean, I'm I'm not going to say the companies I did not pick. You know, I will say the companies that I did pick. I'm not trying to bash anybody on this channel. I'm just trying to give you guys a, an idea of like how people will come in seriously, really high. So you, it's so important to get those three estimates on for just price matters. Uh, the second guy, guys, these are the guys that you want to stay away from. Okay, these are the guys that negotiate with you when you're not even talking. Uh, they want the job so bad. And more than likely, they're going to do crappy work. And I found out later that this guy does crappy work. Uh, he did some other driveways on our road. And, uh, you know, I am thrilled that I did not go with him. And this was, he wanted to not even remove the driveway, the old concrete driveway. He wanted to put asphalt right over the driveway. He has a big fancy pickup truck with his name on there, Asphalt Company. Uh, you know, guys, it doesn't matter. You know, they could pull up in a, a Bentley asphalt truck. You got to talk to these people and get an idea of what they're all about because he was giving me a price without removing the driveway. I mean, which is, was just absolutely ridiculous. And I saw, watched so many YouTube channels where they said, that's like the worst thing you could do. And it's going to look good for about six months and then it's going to start cracking in places and, you know, settling. Uh, but all what I told him, he told me $8,000. All what I said was, I have another estimate coming. He dropped it to 7,500. I said, sir, honestly, I just want to get that third estimate and, and weigh my options. He went to $5,500 from 7,500. If you do it right now, I will do it for $5,500. All what I showed was a little more doubt. Lowest I can go is five grand. Guys, this was a matter of like a minute. He went from $8,000 to $5,000 and all I said is that I got a third estimate coming. 
unbelievable, guys. Stay away from these people. If they start dropping the price because you're showing any type of, uh, they, they want to do the work right there and then. They, they want that job, so they're going to do whatever they can. And more than likely, they do crappy work. And I found out later, he does do crappy work. So guys, real important. Anybody starts low, like knocking off the price, just walk away. Just you know, say, all right, you know, I'll, I'll think about it. And then don't even call them or call them and say, I got somebody else. The third guy, Classic Asphalt came. I was in the process. I just just started uh, jackhammering my driveway up. Uh, I actually was using a hammer drill at first and uh, before I actually got a nice jackhammer, but I was using a hammer drill and uh, I literally just started a section and, and he gave me a price for 7,000 and then he goes, well, I see you're removing, you know, you started removing your driveway. If you remove the driveway and prep it, I'll do it for half the price. And I was like, okay, you know, uh, you're telling me I could save $3,500. I'll do the work. I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to do the work, guys. I spent probably six to eight grueling days removing that driveway. I, 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 thankfully, a neighbor up the street came with a big jackhammer, uh, and it was like going through butter compared to what I was using with the hammer drill. But uh, I removed that driveway. I will build it uh, across the street, jump, dump it over my neighbor's house, and he came and yeah guys he he nailed it as you could see in that picture he absolutely nailed it did such a great job on the driveway it was kind of a shame that we couldn't enjoy it you know because we had to get the existing driveway replaced because it was not safe at all uh to sell our house so it was a shame that we didn't get to enjoy that driveway but the new homeowner did so that is one scenario of where prices and you know just an honest guy you know he could easily said okay you know i'm going to do it for seven grand and not even told me to remove it you know so and he could have made another 3500 bucks you know honest guy and he did great work so now let's get to the windows all right so for the windows a uh, little different scenario uh, another reason why it's so important to get three estimates okay because it's not always about price it's also about the company it's about how that sales rep or the or the person that owns the company itself represents their company i had three estimates for my windows uh two of them came in at nine thousand dollars which was the number one and number two and they came in at 8900 he lowered his after i called back he lowered his 100 below uh the lowest price that i had and also you know this guy came prepared okay so the first company comes in and I have a big bow window that I'm going to show you a picture of right now. Okay, so that window is the focal point of our house. He came in and I seen him looking at it from outside the window when he first pulled up or from outside and he walks in and just walks right to that window and starts going, oh, you got that brick on the outside, you know, that's going to be a difficult window to do. I'm like, okay, I, I started doubting this guy right off the bat. And all these were big companies. Well, these two were really big companies. This one's a local company here. Uh, I'll tell you them in a minute. Uh, but guys, he came in and he's just like, just was not selling me on this window. Okay. Came with no pictures of their past work. No, nothing. Just him talking and a sample window in his car and then he came okay and then uh he comes in i said you know because i was, they came in the same day so i'm already like you know doubting this window so he comes in and uh i said you know do you think you can do this front window heck yeah we could do that front window and he has a laptop with him whips out his laptop on the counter Started showing me all the pictures of the past windows that they did that looked like that bow window. Started showing me employees. This is who's going to be making your window. I mean, guys, he's invested in his company. And he's not only did he sell me, I mean, I didn't really care about the $100 that he beat me on. It was the fact that he was prepared, showed me past work. I mean, it was great. I already know they had good uh, reviews, but he just proved to himself even more why they got good reviews. Uh, you know, show me, I think at least three or four bow windows. And as you can see by that picture, they nailed it. I mean, this is a uh, thermo twin. Uh, they are based out of, uh, east of Pittsburgh. 
highly, highly recommend them, guys. They did all my windows. I had 16 windows done. They did them in two days, and they had a team of like six or seven people here. The first day was two people uh, to do the windows on the outside, and then the uh, second day they came with like six or seven people to nail that front window to make sure that they had the people there to put that window in. Uh, Pre-made at the shop, and then they came and fitted it in. Uh, unbelievable, guys. They, they did a great job on that window. Third uh, estimate was the same as the first one. No pictures, no past work. They're going off their name is basically what it is. We're so-and-so, you know, we're, we're big company. So they come with no work, they just come with their sample windows. Uh, horrible way of doing business, if you ask me. I don't care how big of a company you are. Uh, show, show your past work, don't go off your name. So guys, just another example of doing three estimates. Okay, same price, but you got to see how they present their company. You know, you, you got to see, you know, who's coming prepared, who's showing their work, who's not afraid to show their work. So definitely another way, uh, another reason why it's important to get three estimates. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.